will awake in the morning and step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and now back at the desk. What's going on? I'm at the desk, you guys. I'm here. You want to hear a little insider secret? Did you know YouTubing? I have not showered for a single one of these desk videos. Not one. That's pretty, that's not a good thing at all. Ooh, you guys, I am excited for this one today. Do you remember the um, 90s and or the early 2000s? Do you remember a banging news program called Dateline NBC? Do you remember one of the greatest shows on television to catch a predator? starring Hollywood hottie and handsome hometown hunk Chris Hansen? Well, I remember that phenomenon, and as some of you may remember, that was a pretty cool show. For those of you that don't know, the whole concept of the show, To Catch a Predator, was this guy named Chris Hansen. Let's throw his picture on screen. Mm, look at that man. Look at that man, look at that champion of journalism right there. Dateline NBC would partner with some watchdog groups that would go in and specialize in trying to lure pedophiles out of the woodwork from chat sites that God knows who's heard about. And then they would lure the scumbags to a trap house with hidden cameras. And then the guy would come in and set his bag of stuff on the on the counter. It'd always be like snacks and shit and condoms and stuff. And they'd come in like, hey, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? 13 year old girl. And then would it be a 13? year old girl? Uh-uh. Psych. Bitch, it's Chris Hansen. That's not a lady. That's a guy. That's the handsomest guy I ever saw. Throw that picture on screen again. Look at that man. Mmm. <laughs> Chris Hansen would be very forthright. And, uh, why don't you take a seat? So do you know what, what are you doing here tonight? You coming to meet a 13 year old girl, huh? I'm just here to watch the game. Uh, well, I've got the logs right here. It says that you, you showed her your, uh, your blank and then you proceeded to, well, engage in a series of provocative sexually charged mess. Hey guys, Floor Gus here, your entertainment captain. Ding! This video is sponsored by Audible, and as you probably already know, Audible is the number one place to listen to audiobooks and see their wide collection of Audible originals. If you've ever wanted to support myself or the channel, but haven't really been able to squeeze out a couple bucks, no worries, it's free. Just pull out your phone and text Gus to 500-500, you help me out a great deal, and you get free stuff too. Text Gus to 500-500 or go to audible.com slash Gus and sign up today, you get a free audiobook and a free 30-day trial and two free Audible Originals. So thank you, Audible, for sponsoring. We'll hear more from them later. What are we taping this bad boy to today? How's about some pepper spray? <laughs> pepper spray. So that's what the show was. They trapped pedophiles. They made him embarrass the shit. They made him leave the house thinking, oh, God, I really learned my lesson. And then who's waiting outside? Uh-uh, motherfuckers. It's the law enforcement. Oh, can I just mention right away? Look at this poppin' shirt. Bam! Every cat at 3 a.m. Remember that viral video? LOL, you guys. I'm so trendy. I'm really trendy, you guys. So please go buy a shirt. It's only available for a couple of weeks. And depending on when this video goes up, depending on when the sponsors approve it, the Mitchell Robbins can of soup shirt is going away as well. So please get yourself a little holiday gear or into the new year gear. I loved to catch a predator. And it went off the air, which sucked. But then, in 2017 or 18 or 16, I did not do my research. I never do that. The show kind of came back. Crime Watch Daily, which is this news publication that I and you have never heard of, started posting Chris Hansen predator pedophile videos again, and it rocks. So let's take a look at this crowning achievement in cinematic history. It's Saturday night in the Connecticut suburbs. Autumn is in the air. And this guy is bringing pizza to the door. Oh, by the way, if you watch these videos, there's like all this like low tech spy shit like and the camera interface stuff like they have not upped their production since 2002 and I love it. Jeff Sokol is no pizza delivery man. Cops say he's here to meet a 13 year old girl. Sokol drove all the way from Boston to our sting house in Fairfield, Connecticut. There's like 30 of them in every episode. His date with a 13 year old is going to be on national TV. The chat gets a little raunchy. Are you a virgin? LOL, yeah, that is personal. No, I was with my boyfriend once. I really want to be intimate with you. Do you have pretty feet? LOL, yeah, I don't have homeless feet. How would you like to be Chris in the studio there? LOL, I don't have homeless feet. How is your pussy? You know what I love too about a lot of these like gotcha news shows and like these sting operation stuff is usually they don't have the news host reading the text messages. It's good that they got Chris Hansen because he's able to sell it. He's a good performer, but usually 
they just get these people that they hire for voice work. And it's like, <laughs> I know that you don't want to inject a lot of like love and passion into reading the lines of like a pedophile talking to a child, but it's always these people that talk like, hmm, baby, oh yeah, your pictures look so cute and pretty. Haha, uh -huh, I bet you tell that to all your girls. Mm -mm, nah, girl, only for you, winky face. Want to get my big old salami rod up into your little crotch rocket. But he says he now drives for Lyft, the ride-sharing service. Do you think blank size matters? Nope, X was decent. I'm not that big, but I know how to satisfy a girl. <laughs> You really know how to reel them in, Jeff. Hey, baby, I'm a middle-aged Lyft driver with a very, very small ween. Do you want to plow after algebra class? Sokol arrives at the house. Our on-site decoy, a 19-year-old theater student, lets him in the door. Do you find the house okay? <laughs> no, because it's really dark out. Oh. No, because it's really dark out. You fucking nerd, 13-year-old, it's night. Okay. Right. <laughs> sorry, I'm really nervous. Oh, you gonna give me a hug? No, sorry. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, also, this girl does a really good job of thinking on her feet, but bullshit does she look 13. This girl looks 20 years old easy. Come on, only a fucking idiot would think that that's a 13-year-old girl. There's plates are behind. So, like, so like the, um, the small pizza is, like, almost as big as the uh, big one. So, I, I didn't know that. Like, like, you said small, so I would be, like, a really small one. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, again, this guy is Don Juan over here, really selling stuff. <laughs> so you're about to like bone a too young teenager and your lead in line is, I yeah, I couldn't find the house. It was really dark. Then you hit him right in with the follow up of, yeah, their small pizza actually turned out to be like super like big. Can I have a hug? <laughs> Try not to jab you with my tiny little member here. What's that? I have no idea. Do you want me to check? Somebody here. No. What kind of pizza we have tonight? Who's this? I'll get to that in a minute. Who are you? Who's this? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> That's like the answer that a dad gives when one of his pals comes over for the neighborhood barbecue. They just walk in the door. Hey! Who is this? Hey, who let you guys in here? <laughs> you little rascals. You're Jeff, right? Yeah. And what are you doing here tonight, Jeff? Hanging out. Hanging out with whom? With her. I, I, I want to know who you are. I want to know a little bit more about you first. Can I eat first? Sure, go ahead. He's so relaxed and convinced of his innocence, he eats a slice of pizza. Can I eat first? Oh my God. Dude, I can't even eat food while I'm watching this video of someone else's life falling apart in front of their eyes. So you drove two and a half hours? Sure did. Sure did, damn right, I'm a blue blood patriot. Drive two and a half hours if I want to. What's it to you, buddy? Are you a dad? To meet a young girl. Are you, are you a dad? I will get to that in a minute. I love he's using the pizza as like a weapon, a little barrier. Are you a dad? Tell me, I got a hot slice of za, guy. Uh -huh. Go ahead, have a bite. Sokol probably should have brought napkins. I haven't done anything wrong. Okay, I know that this guy's like a pedophile or whatever, but easily the most egregious part of this man is how he eats pizza. Can we get another replay on that? Oh my God, this man is a tried and true monster. Did you bring some kind of a contract with you? Some sort of marriage contract? Okay. Let's see if any of this sounds familiar while you enjoy your pizza. God, this guy's fucking gross. The balls on this dude. Oh my God, the balls on this guy. How do you do all this shit, chat up a 13 year old girl, walk into a home, clearly get confronted by who appears to be in this guy's mind law enforcement or her dad and be like, <laughs> yeah, what about it? Just fucking laugh in his face, mow down on pizza like you're a goddamn hyena. Well, since your mom isn't home, it's the best time to do it. I would, but only if you want me to. And then you say, do you trim your blank? Okay. Now you know that this girl is 13, right? Jesus. Okay, next. You could say it though. You can say pussy, bro. Like we're just chilling here. We're seeing pizza. Just say it, Hanson. As a 44 year old guy, I shouldn't be talking to 13 year old girls like this. Yet I want to. What am I supposed to make of that? <laughs> Did you bring condoms with you tonight? Well, they plan on having sex. 
I always love the bald face lies that these guys have too. It's like, so you hit up a 13 year old girl, you sent like clearly explicit messages like, hey, how's about that p pussy? That, p that pussy. Sorry, I kind of stole that joke from Eddie. Sorry, J Eddie, thank you for letting me borrow your joke for saying the words quietly. You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. Pussy. You got the text logs and the dude's right in front of you and it's like, were you planning on having sex tonight? Nah, I was talking about uh, cats. Explain so it to me. Just wanted to come hang out. And... It looks like here you wanted to come here and have sex with a 13 year old girl. Okay, is there is that against the law to like to, to have sex with a thirteen year old girl no. when you're forty four? Yes, no, it's against meet, the law. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't ascribe to that law, dude. I don't know. You tell me. Actually, I do not know. Could you please run that past me? Is that against the law? I. This is very vital that I actually. Um, is that against the law, please, sir? Would you like a slice? Do you want some zaw? You see how this looks. Okay, but, but, but do you also see that? I was pretty apprehensive about the whole sex thing. What's the over under on him picking up pizza again? You think he's gonna keep eating? Place your bets down below, boys. Okay, I'm gonna drive two and a half hours. Oh yeah. Down I-95 from Boston. Oh, okay, okay. Pizza's picked up, pizza's picked up. Seemed cool to hang out with. I mean, what the You can't nothing. find any I had nothing else older girls? I can, but I had nothing else going on. So you decided you'd just come out and hang out with a 13-year-old girl? Yeah, you can clearly. Peaches in the mouth. <laughs> God damn it. How do you eat during this? I was thinking I'm not going to have sex with her unless it's legal. So you talk about a plan to make it legal, to marry her, right? Yeah, yeah not like, not in two seconds. <laughs> yeah, oh God, what do I look like a monster? Not in two seconds. Like I'd court the middle schooler for like a couple of weeks before I bone her. Duh. <laughs> That's pizza too. That's not a sex thing. I was being Jeff. You love her? No. You want to have sex with her? I don't know. You it, want to marry her? What do you mean you don't know? She's 13. Did you want to have sex with this girl? I don't know. <laughs> what? Dude, this guy's digging graves faster than, um, who digs graves? Uh, a, gra a grave digger. He's digging um, them faster than a grave digger. Not the monster truck, the person that digs graves. This is a good. This is a good commentary video. Well, what <laughs> what else am I supposed to think, Jeff? Do I seem like a like a like a dishonest, dirty person? Um, yes, 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 you do. Can you just tell me who you are? I'm Chris Hansen, and this is an investigation. So, if there's anything else you want people to know, anything you want to say, now would be a good time to say it. I don't want to talk anymore. Okay. Come on, come on. You can you can leave. Can you shut it off? I cannot show her off now. I like that too. Every guy that gets trapped in this position, they always like the cameras come out and they're like, can you shut this off? Like, what are you expecting? Oh my God. You know what? We didn't ask your permission to film. I am so sorry. I feel like a real buffoon right now. Come on, fellas. Turn off the cameras. Again, Jeff, so sorry. Can I have a slice of that saw? But in all my years of catching these guys, I've never had an offer like this. You can take your pizza if you like. You want a slice? I'm good. Thank you very much. <laughs> He did it! He offered him a slice! <laughs> we were joking the whole time. I can't believe he fucking did that. Do you want a slice? Jeff, my guy, take the L and get the hell out of this domicile. How about right. you guys? How about you guys? Damn, Jeff. Feeling the love, guy. Hey, you know what, guys? I got a big pie. I don't know if you heard before, but the small was actually a lot larger than I thought. We got pizza for all the boys in here. Dig in, fellas. <laughs> so the rest of these videos are usually just them, like, panicking, treading water in the police interrogation room. And spoiler alert, these guys, they always get booked. I mean, duh, there's, like, mountains of evidence to put them away. If you have not checked out Crime Watch Daily, go check them out. They are not a sponsor of the show. But I mean, it's entertaining as hell. You feel uncomfortable. You definitely, it's not something you put on while you're trying to eat a slice of pizza, but go check them out because you will be a better person. Hey guys, did you like that? Did you have a lot of fun? Well, the fun doesn't have to stop there because you could be listening to an audiobook right now on Audible. Listen, straight up, you want to know what I'm listening to right now? The Green Mile, Stephen King. You ever seen that movie, the Frank Darabont one starring Tom Hanks? Ping, it's a banger. The book's even better, straight up. It's one of my favorite books of all time. It's a hell of an adventure story and it's a great mystery. If you wanna check it out, you can listen to it completely free. Just text Gus to 500-500 or go to audible.com slash Gus and you'll get a book 
completely for free. Get the Green Mile. I really recommend it. If you visit audible.com slash Gus or text Gus to 500-500, not only do you get a free audiobook, you get two free Audible originals and a 30-day free trial. We're coming up on Christmas. You got a little bookhound nephew or a cool cousin that you want to get him a gift for? Audible. It's cheap as hell and it's a great, great way to stay entertained. Audible has an absolutely unmatched selection. Great things that you can listen to while you're doing stuff like working out or like maybe doing some art for college. Then the finals are coming up. Listen to a book. Duh. Do some art and listen to a book. That's double the learning, double the knowledge. <laughs> Speak for self. Audible is the best way, the best service to listen to books, and I really, really personally recommend them. They have helped YouTubers out for years with sponsorships. They're sponsoring me now. They're helping out this video. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring. If you want to go, get a free book, two free Audible originals, and a 30-day free trial. Go to audible.com slash Gus. Links are down there in the description, or text Gus to 500-500. It's so easy. It's free. It takes a couple of seconds. And it helps me out greatly, and you get some cool free stuff too. So thank you, Audible. Thank you, everybody. I'm getting off the floor because I'm in bad shape and I'm losing my breath. Two, two, trains leaving, fellas and ladies. Mm -hmm.